Well, it looks like everyone is concerned about what will happen to the Federal Reserve note, not just foreign nations. There's a good reason why the U.S. sound money movement is growing fast. The U.S. federal government and the Federal Reserve are destroying the value of the U.S. dollar with deficit spending and fraudulent monetary tools, questioning the debt ceiling, creating asset bubbles and rigging financial markets on behalf of the big banks. Not only are stackers finding safety in sound money, but but this solution is gaining traction on the state level as well. Let's talk about this. The one guarantee is that sound money hasn't changed and doesn't change in terms of how much it can buy because of inflation or deflation. Most of the time, it is a tangible asset like gold that has a low supply increase or tight monetary controls that keeps things stable. The financial world lacks stability right now, and confidence is eroding fast with central banks creating excess liabilities known as Federal Reserve notes. And that's one of the many reasons several states are acknowledging gold and silver as lawful money again. Even though the U.S. mainstream financial media ignores the many U.S. groups and institutions that support sound money, the Sound Money Defense League, the Heritage Foundation, the Mises Institute, the Cato Institute, and the American Institute for Economic Research are all working on sound money projects right now. One of the primary ways to find out the amount of traction that states are making when it comes to reinstating gold and silver back into the hands of the people is using the Sound Money Index, which ranks the U.S. states based on 12 factors. These include state sale tax laws on precious metals, state income, and capital gains laws as they apply to precious metals, the status of gold and silver as money, state-level precious metals depository laws, state reserve laws on holding precious metals as reserves, and how state government pension funds feel about holding precious metals. So far, the U.S. states that support sound money the most are Wyoming, South Dakota, Alaska, New Hampshire, and Texas, where gold, silver, platinum, and palladium don't have to pay sale tax in almost all U.S. states, which is a big plus. But some of the sound money indexes metrics have not yet been used by most people in the U.S. Gold and silver as legal tender is one of these factors that has helped U.S. states that have passed such laws move up on the sound money index. At the moment, only Utah, Oklahoma, Wyoming, and Arkansas have laws that make gold and silver legal money. South America and Missouri are also thinking about making similar laws right now as we speak. Texas is the only U.S. state that has a bullion depository that is owned by the state, but Tennessee is the only other state thinking about a bullion depository, even though a feasibility study says that a bullion depository is not feasible in Tennessee. Every state in the U.S. has a Senate and a House of Representatives, which are both places where laws about money are made. This means that sound money bills are always being introduced and sent to the state houses of representatives and state senates for a vote. If they pass in both houses, the governor then signs them into law usually. In the end, sound money is important for the U.S. economy as well as the citizens' future. Even though states are making progress, there's still a lot of work to do to make sure that sound money is included in the reserves of state treasuries so they won't be solely dependent on the Federal Reserve notes and digital representations being held in the too-big-to-fail banks. So what do you guys think about the sound money movement underway? Are you aware of any bills on the books in your neck of the woods? Share your thoughts down below. We'll love to hear your thoughts on this. And between all the banking collapses happening right now, will there even be enough time for more states to pass some type of emergency bill on the fly to try to get gold and silver back into the hands of the states just in case this country falls into pieces and each state is dependent upon themselves to start rebuilding back? And the only way they'll be able to do that and to reestablish trust within the state is to have some form of a monetary medium. And of course, we all know that within the Constitution, only states were originally supposed to be able to coin money. But anyway, let me know your thoughts. Leave a comment down below. See you on the next video.